Here's my version of the classic hive war. Build, paint. Yeah, here we go. There's a classic box here. Um, yeah, we're just going to do a little setup here, but I really hope that you enjoy this episode of... So, there it is. Me, of course, not having a knife near me. Kind of helps with me not cutting my fingers so much. So in this video, uh, we're going to be pretty much doing what I'm doing right here. You get tokens, books, sprues of the walls and columns. And you get a gang of uh, Delac and Eschers. So, yeah, one thing I wanted to point out here on this one, since I know I'm going to be using everything, um, this particular build is for um, Jay and I's new gaming hangout, uh, Old Guard Games, which has turned out to be an awesome place. But, uh, yeah, I'm building and painting this guy for uh, a store copy of the basic game. For all of you that don't think you get very much, um, yeah, these are all the sprues of, of stuff. Um, you know, and then, yeah, there's the gang, the gangs. Um, you know, for the money, you get a ton uh, and you get everything to play. Uh, I, I haven't ever been disappointed in this kit. Um, yeah, and, and more importantly, you get a good base on just learning how to play. Um, the rules are uh, not dumbed down, but they're a bit more basic um, just to get, you know, they're, they're really profiled on the gangs that uh, come with the box. Um, but, you know, it, it's a start uh, and you can go from wherever you want, you know, from there. Um, you know, and even if you don't want to. Yeah, here, here comes the gangers. Um, it's turned out that until I get a different camera system up and I figure out a few more things, yeah, there they are. Uh, you guys don't really like my <laughs> auto painting videos. So <clears throat> we're gonna stick with the terrain on this one for the most part. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do the details here um, and then I'll be back when it's time to paint this beast. And if you're ever in the Milwaukee area and want to see this kit that I'm working on, it's at Old Guard Games. You can probably see Jay and I there as well. The online store Badger Games is also a friend of the channel. Just type in JD2024 on your next online order and you'll be helping out the channel. Okay, so um, as always with my paint jobs, um, I'm using the colored primers. Um, this is Steino Reds again. Uh, I dumbed down the gray, the, the base gray concept with a little bit of black ink. Um, I am trying to get this to as close to the box art as I can. Now, obviously, um, my painting style, it's not gonna look exactly the same. Um, but uh, I, I think I got kind of close. Um, I had a, um, the airbrush step there is kind of, I, I skip over the, the, uh, the beige. Um, I had an airbrush uh, catastrophe. Um, so that footage didn't really make it in here, but I mean, just look at all the bits. I mean, this is crazy. Um, it, it, just the sprue alone for the barricades and, and all of that other stuff is warranted. The the sprue for that and the gangs um, is warranted for you to buy the box. Um, not to mention the walls and columns. Um, 
I am gonna make this fully modular. Um, well, not fully modular, but um, I'm gluing basic shapes, but you'll be able to stack them, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. Um, this was also a video that I started before I harnessed the power of 4K. Um, yeah, here's the detailing of the metal work. Yeah, I didn't video that because this video is pretty long the way it is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go a little more in depth into oil painting. Um, I didn't use any powders on this again. Um, this technically isn't my terrain. Um, this is going to be for the store, the box set. So um, I am trying to get as close as I can and what's really nice is that um, I, I did <laughs> I'm more surprised than just about anybody else I did get pretty close uh, doing things my way um, there's a little bit of an overspray with that uh, the the uh, doing the arches and things like that um, that was part of my gun <laughs> collapse um, but I'm not gonna try to clean it up or anything we're gonna try to we're gonna try to go around that without having to go back um, I hate going back and repainting things it's such a tedious thing and you know um, but my concept is I, I do so much of this stuff we can just move forward so yeah here we are we're, we're flooding the the pieces with my uh, my style of oil painting, um, I really like the way this all worked. Um, I got a nice detail up in the middle there. Um, if you're looking at painting bits, I gotta tell you right now, um, you might want to take a look at the way I'm doing things because I managed to get all of this oil painted up, wiped down um, in about an hour, and that's everything um including the the oil painting that i would be going to be doing in a second some of the detailing um which you have that layer of the beast right there that i just put stuff on and then we have uh, i think i did some upgrade on the lighting on the walls and columns um but anyways um okay yeah well here we are i was gonna go but we're at the wiping now, because these aren't models, I left the rims metal. Um, I don't think it should make a big, big difference. Like I said, this is gonna be store terrain. Um, but yeah, it, the idea is that, you know, if somebody's interested, they're looking at stuff and they see some of our stuff and they're like, oh my God, how do I get started? Here's a box. If you wanted to check out what's in the box, I got it all ready to go for you. Um, it's, you know, got two full gangs painted, ready to go. Yeah, here we go. We're working on, yeah, just a quick wipe. You don't want to take too much off at this juncture. Um, you know, a little bit more detail isn't such a bad thing. But yeah, this is the part that I was really happy with. Um, I'm going to start readjusting my concept on building building and painting these things. Um, this worked out really, really well. Um, I think I probably could have used a little bit less spirits or let it sit a little bit longer just to let the spirits evaporate. But I wanted to make sure I could hit the inside, <coughs> excuse me, the inside panels and the the, uh, the top area here so I can get that um, the very vibrant color at the top of the box art, which I don't quite understand how that's possible in the underhive. But yeah, so here we are. We're gonna do a little detailing. Um, and again, this is just very, very small dabs of paint. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of a yellow in here. Not very much, but then we're just gonna mix it. And you can self mix it just by stippling um, very lightly and then just work it. It's the more you work it, the more it mixes. And then you can draw things down for shading and it's simply a great way of doing it. Now that was a real fast basic thing. I could have kept going, um, which I think is the main point here. 
Now, when I was doing this lighting, um, I did leave that with an awful lot of spirits because I didn't want a full yellow color. Um, I wasn't, if this were my pieces, I'd be trying to do some, some uh, OSL and, you know, some other different lighting effects and stuff. But all I wanted was a little bit of color to denote that the lights are there and different. Um, not very much. So I left a lot of spirits in there before I spread it out. That thinned it even more to give it more of a, a transparent coat. But uh, yeah, so and here we go with the undershadowing. Um, this one I used an umber. Boy, it looks like I'm not going to give you guys a break from my, all of my talking. Um, <laughs> just the dark, dark areas, the low shaded areas. And then I did the bolts on this. Um, really, really thin down. This is, this is a very, yeah, this is a, just a true filter. Um, yeah, I, I got to say, um, I had, uh, because I had the Secundus thing, uh, kind of fly in the middle of this project um you know it took a little bit longer um i'm glad it happened because i came back to it and this it's just nice and easy um you certainly don't have to do all of the silly steps that i do for this stuff but um you you could get pretty much everything in this box ready to go um uh, in a pretty quick fashion um and even if you didn't want to paint it, if you didn't want to paint it, you could probably get it all put together within, you know, a couple of days um, and be playing, you know, which, you know, that's what we're doing all this for is to play. <laughs> but, yeah, I used the filter on the overspray um, on this, uh, which, uh, you know, is kind of an interesting decision on my part. Um, usually I'd like to try to fix things up like that. Um, it's a neat effect. I, uh, I'm really surprised, to be honest. Um, and like I said, again, being store terrain, um, when people do figure out that it's actually there, I have a feeling it's going to get bashed around quite a bit, you know, like store terrain does. So I, you know, one, one of the other reasons I wanted to use the oils, um, when this fully dries, it's going to be hard as a rock. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm confident. So here we are. We're going to have a little walk through and a build. Um, yeah, there's the standard mat. That's the Escher gang set up there. We got a top down and I got a little bit of a walk through at the end there. But um, yeah, here's the, the Delac. I'm still working on some of these shots, guys. Um, <laughs> But yeah, with this one, um, I just wanted to do a, do a concept on what you could do if you wanted to stack them up. It only takes a second, um, you know, unless of course you lose the tops and then yeah, you're in trouble then, I suppose. But, uh, you know, I gotta say, uh, I, this is been a couple of these now that I've done and I really really like the kit it is totally worth the money yeah here's a little bit of a walk through um you know um thanks so much you guys um I really hope that you enjoyed this and as always please like and subscribe